Hello everyone, my name is Eugene Simon, I'm here at Supernova and I play Lancel Lannister on Game of Thrones and you are here for the Spotlight Report. You have profaned our faith, the faith of our fathers and forefathers. I am the High Septon of the... You are a sinner. Ah! And you shall be punished. Ah! Hi, this is George from the Spoiler Report and we're here with Eugene Simon from Game of Thrones and the House of Anubis. So, how are you today, man? How are you enjoying Supernova? I'm having such a good time, dude. I have yet to actually get away from my desk and go and explore the rest of it. So I'm still very, very excited to see it all. But it's been, it's been lovely. Everyone's been so kind to me so far. I'm assuming all the fans here keep asking you Game of Thrones spoilers and stuff like that, what's going on, and is your character coming back? Can you tell us something too? They do ask a lot of questions. They were asking up until eight weeks ago, is Jon Snow alive? Now we know what the answer to that is. But the next question is going to be, do you survive? And you guys are going to have to wait and see. So you've got two more episodes coming. First one on Monday and then the next one the following week. So let me know what you guys think on Twitter if you want to. <laughs> of course we will. Um, what can you tell us about your first day on the set of Game of Thrones back in the day? My first day on Game of Thrones was one of the most comic days of my career. I first had to do my nude scene in Game of Thrones season one with Lena Headey. So I was in my dressing gown, having to ready to get completely naked, and I was walking to set, and I met Lena on the way there, and I shook her hand, and I said, hi, how are you? And her mother was with her. <laughs> and I went, oh God, uh, hello, Mrs. Headey, nice to meet you. And um, so that, that was day one for me on set. So that was certainly rather nerve wracking, but uh, it was all, all, all up from then onwards. And following up on that, uh, maybe you asked the question already, but can you share with us any funny scene that happened on set for filming? Absolutely. Well, when we were shooting one of the scenes uh, on the Battle of Blackwater in season two, there was this massive fight scene where everywhere, all of these Lannisters and Baratheons had to be running up at one another and fighting, and you know, really huge choreographed fights. But a funny thing, a funny thing that happened to me when I was coming out of that gate with with the Hound in this image. So him and I walked out of the gate, and there was there were there was fire, and there was blood, and there were people throwing rocks from the top of the castle. And the first thing that happened when I walked out of the gate was someone threw a rock right on my head. And I then was like, my eyes were crossed. I was like, what? Where? Where am I? And then had to carry on doing my fight for the next minute and a half uh, in live action. So that was uh, that was certainly an unexpected event. <laughs> so it was definitely felt like a real battle scene after that. Um, tell us a bit more about your experience on the House of Anubis as well. Well, House of Anubis was filmed alongside Game of Thrones for the first three years. And um, I mean, that was a wonderful thing for me to do because each season had so many episodes to it. There were about 60 to 90 episodes. And so we were working for about six months out of the year. And I would film House of Anubis on some occasions in the morning and then get on a flight from Liverpool to Belfast and go and film Game of Thrones in the evening. So for me, that whole, the whole period was just one of being of really high energy and of shooting on some on two really really wonderful shows and i miss jerome i miss the character it was wonderful playing him he was a lot of fun to do it really was and just to finish uh, the same question i have the luck to interview uh, kirk hampton and nicola as well before and i asked them if you could pick up any character from game of thrones that is not your own which character will you pick and why well, I do really like the character of Theon Greyjoy. I just think that Alfie Allen does a great job with him, and it's a really lovely, it's a, it's a horrible but really, really good storyline to tell. Um, so I suppose I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be Alfie's character because he does, he tells it so well. But at the same time, I do think it's a wonderful character in of itself. Just the story is just so rich, and um, so if there was any other character, it would be him. But otherwise, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with Lancel. I, I'm, I'm more, he's. By far my favorite character. I love playing him. Fantastic. Thanks a lot for your Thank time you. and big honor. Thank you very Thank much. You.